Item. SCP-1723. Code name. Radio Intercepting Woman. Object Class. Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-1723 is to be contained in a humanoid containment cell that has been modified to act as a Faraday cage, blocking any incoming radio broadcast. Due to several ailments related to SCP-1723's age, a doctor is to be on call for SCP-1723 at all times, since there is the possibility of a sudden medical emergency. SCP-1723 is to be confined to the cell at all times. Description. SCP-1723 is a human female of Uzbek descent, approximately 90 years old. The subject stands at 1.4 meters tall, with gray hair, and weighs 39.2 kilograms. SCP-1723 is able to receive the contents of any radio waves passing within 300 meters of the subject's location, with SCP-1723's spine and brain acting as the receiver. SCP-1723 hears these broadcasts as disembodied voices. The subject can pick up on any radio signal broadcasted between the frequencies 88 MHz and 245 MHz. All broadcasts are heard in real time. The subject can pick up on any broadcast, regardless of the level of encryption. SCP-1723 can understand messages sent in Uzbek, English, Russian, French, German and in Morse code. Briefly contained in 1958, it was recovered in 1996, from a mental hospital in the Russian Federation, where she was being treated for her Alzheimer's disease and dissociative identity disorder. SCP-1723 came to the Foundation's attention when reports of a patient able to hear mobile phone transmissions reached agents embedded in the local military. When agents arrived to investigate SCP-1723, the subject began repeating classified information being broadcast over the agent's radios. SCP-1723 was taken into containment, and classified as safe. The subject is suffering from several degenerative conditions, including Alzheimer's disease, osteoarthritis, cataracts, and deafness in the left ear with limited hearing in the right. Note that the deafness does not affect the subject's ability to hear radio broadcasts. In addition, SCP-1723 has suffered multiple broken bones and minor brain damage at some point in the past, which was not treated properly. SCP-1723's dissociative personality manifests as an imitation of the personalities belonging to several Cold War-era politicians and military figures, including, data expunged. FMRI scans of the subject's cranium have revealed several small dead zones in the frontal lobe. These appear to be related to SCP-1723's radio ability, as they light up when radio waves are being received. Addendum. During the investigation that resulted in SCP-1723's capture, a small databook was found in the subject's cell. It appears to have been used as the subject's diary during the time SCP-1723 was held captive by the GRU. Very little of the diary is legible, and only a few entries are relevant. Do not know how long I have been held captive. My name is and I have been held in this facility for about three weeks. I have been here since I told my district supervisor about the voices, and that I had been hearing them ever since that metal tower was constructed. I am hungry, and scared, and I do not know what they will do to me. If you read this, please send me help. Please tell my mother I am still alive. They tell me that I should be honored, to be trained as a field agent. They say that they are going to have to put me through obedience training. I do not know what they mean, but at least I am not going to die. I will allow them to put me through whatever process need be, so I can go back to the village. They take me to Germany, to Poland, to Turkey, and I write what I hear. I am the voices they tell me everything. Sometimes there are many voices, 
And sometimes there are few. I am the Chancellor. I am the Ambassador. I am all of the people in my heads. Who else would I be? Ah. I think I am losing my mind these lucid periods keep getting shorter and shorter, and the haze gets over long. I am afraid that if I can't perform my duty they will kill me. I don't know what to do. I must try to stop the haze, to recover. For my mother. I don't know how much longer I will be like this. It's tearing at me, gnawing at the corners of my mind. It wants me to slip back into their shoes, the voices. Their voices come from everywhere now. I can't walk near a metal tower without having an incident. Nobody understands what I am going through. They won't let me go home. From this point on, the entries are indecipherable. The only other legible entry is a note located on the back of the data book, apparently written by an agent of Division P in the GRU. As of this time, Project S33 has been cancelled. Object S33 is no longer able to transcribe any radio signals, and is unable to perform basic life functions on her own. We have been contacted by an American organization willing to take her off our hands for a hefty sum. In the meantime, we have interned her at a mental facility. Personnel who had been assigned to Project S33 are to be reassigned. Documents relating to S33, such as this diary, are to go with the object.